Mechanical genius. Right, muckers. So the last video was the Bolaris crawler, which we eventually got running. And um, just want to say thanks to everybody that joined in, especially in the comments and stuff. Um, we had lots and lots of new subscribers, which is fantastic. But the main thing is we got lots of other people that I've never seen their names before in the comment section. The old Squid Pit is commenting, you know, telling me about what their favourite tractor was. And I had a couple of people say that uh, they don't like the movie. Uh, clips that we insert in the videos and little pictures and stuff. Now I know the vast majority of you love them, that's the whole reason we put them in. But um, you know, if you don't like the, the movie clips and stuff that we, we put in, uh, in in my videos, then um, it's not a problem. All you've got to do is just simply select what we call the rally driver option. Uh, that's where you'd simply rev up and f*** off. <laughs> I think uh, a lot of you guessed from the little clues I gave on last uh, last week's video uh, that this week's video was going to be on a Land Rover. And the whole point was that um, I wanted to you know, have a little bit of a play around with a petrol engine for a change, you know, gasoline engine. Um, to give you a bit of background on this Land Rover, um, it's been stood out in the trees uh, for, well, it's 1990s, so 30 years. Um, and time and weather has taken its toll. You know, the, the rear cross member is completely rotten. Uh, all one down one side of the chassis was rotten. All the outriggers are rotten. Clutch was seized. The brake pedal was seized. All four brake <laughs> drums were seized. Handbrake was seized. Throttle linkage was seized. Everything had just seized. And it just, the rot and rust had just got into it. All the door tops and stuff. Um, I mean, like I say, someone with a lot of determination, uh, it's, it's a, a project possibly to redo, uh, but, or, a, you know, a donor vehicle and all that. But the main thing is we had to get it dragged up out of the trees and up in through in the other yard. Um, but before anything was decided what to do with it, I just had to know one thing. Will it start? Right, so this is a 1973 Land Rover 109 X Army, genuine X Army, with a two and a quarter litre four cylinder petrol. Um, so, <laughs> the big question is A, is it seized? And B, if not, will it start? Right, shut up. Hmm, it's uh... Ah yeah, I don't think that's been started or driven for quite a while. Oh, that's got the uh, top door part delete, that's been done, that's excellent. And uh, yeah, all the rot. Um, hmm. And now oh, it's also got the uh, fully air conditioned uh, footwells, that's good. Can't beat that. Oh, nice bit in there as well, that nice bit of rot. But uh, other than that, she's absolutely cherry. So I think without any keys, we're gonna have a bit of trouble with this. So I think the first thing we've got to do is evict all the spiders, get this shroud off, and then try to see if we can do something with that uh, key in there, either bust it off or hot wire it or something. I think we need to have a little look under here first, see what we've got. Oh yeah, that's uh, yeah, that's that is definitely some of the good stuff. Some of the better cobwebs. Right, so there's a yeah. I mean, it's not too bad, is it? Who needs this sort of working anyway? Is that all jammed? Yeah. Is that the throttle actually? No, it's not the throttle. 
Here's the throttle. Here's the throttle there, yeah. yeah it's That's the jam. throttle linkage. It's all jammed, <laughs> isn't it? It's all solid. It's all marmalated. So that'll need a bit of the uh, bit of duck oil on there, I think. A bit of the good stuff? Yep. And then I'll need... Uh, Sending into next Tuesday. No, it will not be sent in next Tuesday. Well, it might be, yeah. We'll see how, how annoyed I get with it. Um, yeah, I don't think there's any brakes happening here. Uh, but it will need a battery on. Brakes are overrated. And brakes if you've got flat tyres. No, I think we have got some flat tyres. Have we got flat? Have we got, have we got wind in these? Or well, that's got some in it. It's got half wind. And that's got that one's got some wind in that one as well. So I think well, no, we're not doing too bad. Um, that is just absolutely peach. Look at that. Look, that is what you need. That just lets all the air in. Nothing in the wind. Yeah. Right, all right, we're gonna have to spray this with duck oil first. Let's get on with that while I bust that lock off. That is genuine army camouflage. You can't buy it in the shop. <laughs> well, I can see all the bits I want now. So that's good. How are you getting on? Um, okay. Yeah. Is it freed up yet? I'm just trying to get... Look at that prop, uh, oh, free it. Start, nearly, this is sea solid. Okay. But that is starting to move there. Okay. There you go. Oh. Very good. There you go. Good. Right. Um, it's enough to uh, maybe get it running. We're getting ahead of ourselves here. I really need to just see if the actual thing's free. If, I'm get a span on this, if it'll bugger or turn. If it'll turn, it'll fire up. Right, I've got an old pair of stillies, which I found inside the Land Rover. Uh, up there on the end of the crank pulley. So, uh, see what we do now. Oh, she's free. It's moving. Yeah, look at that. Well, that's good. Right. Now, in my experience with a Land Rover, two and a quarter petrol, if that turns, That'll run. This is the fuel tank, uh, one of them, one under either side. Uh, oh, it's a pity you couldn't uh, have smell of vision. The smell out of this is just, oh, epic. Uh, that ain't very good at all. Yeah, uh, hmm, that's some better days. Oh, got a switch. Man. So all we needed was <clears throat> look at that, angle grinder. This is just the uh, universal key. Screwdriver. And we're away. Let me just clear this out of the way here. Oh, you got a battery. Well done. Um, what we got here? We got. Uh, I'm just going to. I should. It should reach. I thought. Yeah, the radio probably. Just put the battery upside down. Yeah, I need you, don't I? Right. Um, it's negative earth on this. Um, looks like an old bone. It's not squirrel. Um, right. So we just get this. Oh, it has. How dare it? Right. Uh, yeah, that way round. It's going to be a bit. Like that. Yeah, oh. I ain't gonna what reaches it. That one reaches. Yeah, that one doesn't. It's too short on there. Uh, Is that? Uh, hang on. Well, I could always well, I could use a set of jump leads and make an earth, as long as the positive reaches. Right, we got any lights or anything? Oh, we've got a light. And two over there as well. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, what was that? Ah, a bit of solenoid action there. Right, let me just see what we've got there. Let me just listen in this end. Just do that again. Right, okay. That might need just a little bit of persuasion. So, managed to get the battery just to fit in it just right, you see, and obviously the, the, the slope and the angle is, is absolutely critical to whether this goes or not, because uh, it lets all the power go down that end. Um, so, uh, yeah, that's, that's where we are. So, um, giving that a good bit of a bang, just try it, just give it, see if we've got anything. A click. Oh, 
No, it's still got a click. Hang on. Just give her a pull. If not, you can do it from here. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Got a bit of choke on there now. Um, yeah. I'm a light for the choke. Yeah? Yeah, that works. That's good. Right. Um, well, you've got your hand. You don't need it. I know, but we'll just see what happens first. Ready? Oh, come on, let's send it. Oh, hey! Alright, stop. Uh, some, uh... I'm going to have a little look, see if we've got a spark. I'll yeah, pull a plug. Yeah. Alright, let's pull a plug and we'll see. Right, so what we've done, we pulled the cap off of the distributor. Just cleaned up in there. Cleaned all this up. So, now, fingers crossed, we should have a spark. Yeah. What does Derek say? Send the lightning. <laughs> Looking on there, if you can see it, there's an electronic ignition on here. So, as it is now, it's gone through that electronic ignition box, which is on. So we might as well have a go with that. Right, what have we got here? Have we got smart? Let's see. Oh, we have. We have a spark, we have a spark, we have a spark. Put it right, back. Just put the plug in. Hey there. Oh, go on then. Right, well, I'm going to try and stick a separate uh, fuel supply on this. I'll get a can, a fuel bulb in between two pieces of line so we can at least feed some fuel into this carb and uh, that might then prolong it running once. Once you've managed to get those all looking like new. So you're now adamant that you want to take this carb apart. You've got an obsession with taking carbs apart. It's just fixing things properly, something you would you could learn. Look, all the petrol, see you, I've died, look, that beautiful pet. You could learn a thing or two about this. I could. Oh yeah, that looks great, that. That was some of the good it? stuff. That was some of the good stuff. I mean, I being come the luminescent out. isn't no issue. I, I, is I, don't, really? I think that's some good I colour. The... That, there's nothing wrong with that, lovely. Right, is that you? Yeah, it's gone. Yeah. It's loose. It's loose. Oh. Beautiful. Oh. That is. It's not horrific, to be fair. It's not yeah, great by any means, but it's not horrific. You can't. Right, see what we can do then. Go on, let's give a What about that? How good was that? I told you it needed the car cleaning. Basil! <laughs> right, give it another squirt on the old... Uh, pump and squirt. Pump and squirt. It's full to be fair. Right, okay. Right, I'm going then. Ready? Yeah. Ready? He's all right. Oh, that sounds sweet down there. What did you just do? What did I just do? Yeah. I went like that and then like that at the exhaust. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I don't think it has anything to do with me. Do you have another go? Just listen to that. There ain't a rattle or a bloody grumble in all that top end or bottom end. But that is just so sweet. Got the um, say the exhaust delete should be there. It's about somewhere there. Fucking oh. awesome! You are so loyal. You need to worry about the fuel pipe and the fan.
So there we are, muckers. Those old Land Rover engines never cease to amaze me. You know, everything else can just be sort of decaying around them. And as long as they'll turn, those things will fire. They're just, just incredible. And it sounded so sweet. Right, this week's question, muggers. So put your own answers in the squid pit below in the old comment section. And uh, if you haven't ever, you know, commented before, uh, or you're new to the channel or whatever, join in. It's great to see the new names. Right, a question I get asked all the while. In fact, I got asked again the other day. Now, I know it's a very, um, you know, personal thing, as in, you know, each individual likes different things for different reasons. But work boots, not disco dancing, you know, clubbing boots, work boots, the ones you use day in and day out at work. And I know we've all tried different brands throughout the years and whatever, some good, some bad, some better than others. But what is your favorite brand and type of work boot? Um, you know, as I said, I, we've all got different opinions. I like this brand with that, but these ones were better because, you know what I mean? But overall, if you had to choose a pair of work boots, what brand and type would they be? So, put your answers in the old squid pit below. Right, just to let you know, I have, as I've been doing all these videos, I've also been doing other footage, filming me doing the videoing. Because, as I said, I'm gonna compile it all towards the end of the year, so you can see a bit of a behind the scenes, making the Lord Muck channel thing, all right? So I've been doing that as well, just to let you know. But, next week's video, um, it's a will it start, but I'll tell you now, it starts, all right? Let's just, uh, let's just skip through that bit, it starts. The reason being, uh, I'll show you, you know, us getting it going and that, but the getting it started is not the issue. The, the actual thing about the, the whole uh, point of the video is, it's a little bit different. The machine is not something you would see or have seen every day. So uh, yeah, keep your eyes peeled for that. And like I say, you know, if you want to know when we're putting the video up, then, you know, I don't mind whether you subscribe or not. It's up to you, but then don't moan if you haven't subscribed and you're not getting told that I put a video, you know, simple as that. But yeah, if you do subscribe, press the notification bell. And the other thing is, if you're on the subscribers list, then your name can be in the draw for getting pulled out to win stickers and stuff like that. So there we are. Right. So until the next one, muckers, do well. <laughs>